friends, I want to share the word of God with you right away. But before I share the word of God, I want us to believe and pray. Father, the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for this day. I glorify your name. Even as I'm going to share the word upon your people, Lord, may you use me as your vessel. Use them as the vessel to listen to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. My friend, aren't you to know this? You need to work with your hand. You need to strive and put something on the table every day, every day to make sure everything is well done on your side. Praise the name of Jesus. Therefore, the Bible says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 2, verses uh, 7, I want you to listen and read it from me. The Bible says, listen here from your Bible. For the Lord thy God hath blessed thee in all the work of thy hand, your hand, praise the name of Jesus. He knows thy walking through this great wilderness, praise the name of Jesus. He knows you are walking in this world, praise the name of Jesus. Get this, this 40 years, the Lord thy God hath been with thee. Thou hast lacked nothing. Praise the name of Jesus. That refers to Israel. Praise the name of Jesus. Therefore I come to you, my friend. Some spirit has entered the man of God, especially in the world. They don't want to work with their hand. They want to dwell and wait upon Christian who are their members to give them. And when they lack, they complain. Praise the name of Jesus. Therefore, I want to urge someone here. And I want to put in on note. If you are a servant of God, one thing you need to know, Sunday is for God. Saturday is for God. You can work for God if you want. All days are for, for God. But don't don't expect from your member to pay for you rent, to pay for you everything, you being there saying that you are called. Yes, you are called of God. But you need to work also with your hand to get something so that you should not complain to God. Many servants of God we have right away, right now, as I'm speaking, Many of them, they want members to do things for them. And this is so bad. You have tinted the image of Christ. You have tinted the church. You have tinted the image of church itself. People have refused to go to church because they see their pastors want from them. They see pastors are so angry for their money. This is true wrong. Let me tell you the truth here. Listen to me. Simon and Peter, they worked. They were fishermen. But when, we, when they, are, they were fishermen, Jesus Christ picked them from the soil there. As they were fishing. And Jesus showed them how to fish. My question remains, did they leave the work? The work continued. Praise the name of Jesus. My friend, as you listen to this word, walk carefully. If you are a servant of God, if you want your church to grow, if you want your church to be stable, also work. Look for something. It doesn't matter if you are a builder. You build houses. Go build houses. If you are a painter, go paint. If you are a banker, go to the bank. Work. Work. That is for you. And let the church be supported by member. Also, you support the church with your resources. But if you expect your members to pay for you every time, if you expect from them, my friend, you want to destroy 
yourself. You will start hating church. You will start hating your members. You will start hating the work of God. People have closed church. Many people. Because of one thing. They depend on church. Don't depend on church. Depend on God. And God will reward you. My friend, let us pray. That is enough for you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for every person who is listening to me. I pray for every servant who have listened to this word. Lord Almighty Father, may you renew their mind. Let them have that heart to expand their business, to expand whatever they have. Lord, give them work. Give them work. Jehovah, I thank you for their churches. May their churches grow up. May their churches go to another level. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Someone is there. You're not born again. Maybe you left church because of issue like that. Today, I want you to come back to the church. I want you to go and praise God. Go and serve God mightily. Go serve God with your heart. Look for a good church. A church which cares. A church which minds about you. A church which is there for you. Therefore, serve there. You are for there. You are, you backslided because of that. Repeat this prayer. Repeat this prayer, and God will take you back to where you are. Father, I come before you. I am a sinner. I've sinned against you. Jehovah, forgive me. Write my name back to your book. Forgive me, Lord. Whatever I've done wrong, Lord, take me back to your salvation. Let me walk with you, starting from today. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Shalom, shalom. Peace of God be with you. The, uh, the, the mighty God will walk with you ever. We'll never disappoint you again. Starting from today, know that it's good to work. It's good to walk in the truth. It's good to share the truth of God. I, my friend, I want, to sh I, I want to tell you, I want to encourage you right now. Work with your hand. Look for money with your hand. Don't expect from people. When you expect from people, you will be disappointed and you will hate the work, the, the work of God just for nothing. But right now, I've opened your eyes. My friend, Sifa, Sifa, Shalom, Shalom, peace of God walk with you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.